two years, I had a laptop that was missing a zero key. I went to the Apple store and I was like, can I get a new zero? And they were like, oh, you have to replace the whole keyboard. It costs $200. And I was like, well, I'm not worth it. And I left. <laughs> do you guys ever do this thing where, where something of yours breaks and you're like, okay, I can pay to fix this or I can make my life a little shittier every day. <laughs> this was the workaround that I came up with. Every time I needed a zero, I would go to Google and I'd type in, I'd start to type in the name of the rapper, Andre 3, and I'd wait for it to autocomplete thousand, and then I'd copy paste one of his zeros into whatever I was working on. And I did that every day for two years. And now I feel like I need to meet Andre. You know, I feel like I need to meet him because I just want to be like, look, you may be called Andre 3000, but. You're Andre three billion to me, buddy. <laughs> This is a, probably a weird question, but uh, could I possibly wash my hair here? You know, it's funny. I, as I was cleaning up, I was hoping that someone would come in and ask to wash your hair. Go ahead. Really? Yeah, but listen to me. You're on your own, OK? I don't want to get involved Thank in this. You. Let's hurry up. Wrap this up. You got Thank a weird you. smell to you, too. Whoa, whoa, oh whoa. God. I'm trying to clean here. I'm so sorry. I... Here's the deal. Just take your coat off. Sit down, relax. Do this and get out of here, OK? Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Are you okay? A, a dead pigeon beamed me in the head, and I, I'm supposed to be on stage in like 20 minutes, and I just feel like it's bad luck before a show to get the plague. You got to go on stage? What are you, a dancer? No. Do you want a towel? That'd be good. Yeah. Thank you. What a horrible day, huh? Yeah. Well, can I borrow a comb? Go ahead, over there. Knock yourself out. Use three. I don't care. Thank you. I could, yeah. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're supposed to rinse that out. I, I... It's Windex. It's blue. What does it even matter anymore? Oh, well, yeah, you do have dead bird in your head. I'm just so grateful you've let me do this. Thank you so much. No, listen, keep your money. Buy, do something nice for yourself tomorrow. Just come back sometime, OK? You don't want that. I know. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Good luck dancing tonight. Your next comic, she's wonderful. Let's hear it for Emmy Blodnick. Man, man, oh man, oh man. Oh boy. I got called in for jury duty for the first time. Has anyone done that here? Couple of good citizens. All right, that's cool. It's just as bad as they tell you it is. You have to get to the courthouse at eight in the morning. And I went to this man, I went to one of those coffee carts outside the courthouse. There was a guy selling muffins, and I grabbed one, I just shoved it in my face, and I went in. And so they're like, okay, this is a medical malpractice case. We're gonna see if you can be fair and unbiased. And they go to the first lady in the jury box, and she went right for the hysterics. She was like, <laughs> my husband was murdered by veterinarians, and I can never forgive them. And they were like, OK, ma'am, you are dismissed. And I was like, oh, come on. That's what I was going to do. And it was my turn, and I was ready. I had a story. I was ready. I'd been thinking. And they said, ma'am, can you be fair and unbiased in a medical malpractice case? And I said, no. And they said, you are dismissed. And I was like, you don't want to hear the story. <laughs> no, I was like, don't ask any questions. Just go, go, go. So I ran, I ran out of there. I took out my phone. I was going to take a picture to send to my boyfriend to be like, I'm free. And I saw in my reflection that I had chocolate all over my face. And <laughs> that's why there were no follow-up questions, because they don't want you on the jury if you look visibly insane. <laughs>